Navigating the business side of the art world or of being an artist can sometimes feel rather uncomfortable or even intimidating, especially when it comes to financial transactions, when it comes to sales. In this five step tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your industry proofed and professional invoices for yourself so that you are protected as an artist, that your art is protected and that you also make a good impression and especially that you do this in the most cost efficient and uh, time efficient manner. We have also designed a template, but I'm also going to show you how you could make your own template. The great thing about invoicing for artists is that it's actually quite simple. All you need is one good, decent and professional template. Various other art platforms, uh, YouTube channels or online resources will try to sell you rather expensive templates, um, expensive automatization software or even subscription plans in which you need to pay them monthly simply to use their invoicing system. However, the truth is as an artist, you have a very limited quantity of invoices, however, of high value, high quality. So the total amount of invoices every year will be quite uh, limited. So it's absolutely not necessary to spend money on automatization software um, or on expensive subscription plans. Even more, these other more expensive uh, online resources will also forget a very important uh, addendum to your invoicing, which is of course the terms of sale, which consists of a set of rules, a set of paragraphs to protect your art and you as an artist in the transaction. So feel free to use the following five steps to create your invoice template, or if you want to save some time, um, avoid making any mistakes, and also want to support um, the creation of these free videos, uh, feel free to purchase our um, Kai invoice template plus sales of terms, which is uh, priced at the most modest price of just a coffee. I'll link to it in the description below and in the pinned comments as always. Step one. Invoice number and date. We include the invoice number, date and due date at the top of each invoice. You can use a six digit invoice number format in which the first two digits are for the year in question and the last four are used to count the invoices. For example, the first invoice of 2024 will be 240001, the fifth one will be 240005, and the tenth one will be 240010, etc. Set the invoice date to the date you are sending the invoice to your clients, and set the due date to the date 15 or 30 days after the invoice date. Step two, invoice information. Up next, we have to write down our invoice information and the invoice information of the client. So we're going to write down from, referring to you as the seller, and make sure to include all your details, uh, your name, your address, tax ID, if this is applicable in your country, phone number, email address, and your website. You can also add here and after refer to as the artist, which makes it a lot more efficient for your future term of sale to refer to yourself, to these um, set of contact details. Next to your invoice information, we want to write the client's invoice information, and we can write this down below bill two. Try to be as complete as possible here as well, but if you do not have all the information, just their name, address or email address can be sufficient. Step three is the invoice table with the items they're buying, the description of those items and of course the price. This is in the middle of the invoice and this is arguably the most important part of the document. Listing the artworks, so make sure that you include a thumbnail image of your artwork to avoid any confusion and mention the complete metadata of the artwork as well in the description, encompassing your artist's name, the title, year, the medium of surface, the dimension, and if the artwork is, for instance, unique or part of an edition. Possible additional items include um, more artworks if you're purchasing more than one piece, if there is door-to-door -door shipping, or perhaps even if there is a discount. We want to enter all the prices of these items, of the artworks, of the shipping, of the discount, in the final column of this invoice table. As a result, in the bottom row, we, we can possibly add um, tax costs, uh, if this is applicable, and also calculate uh, the total cost, mentioning the amount that has already been paid in case of having received a deposit. Uh, if this isn't the case, you can simply enter zero here. And at the very bottom, in bold, the amount that is due. So the amount that they need to 
um, pay to you. Step four, payment instructions and details. At the bottom of the invoice, we want to share the necessary instructions and details to complete payment. Specify if you wish to receive payment within 15 or 13 days, which is also mentioned via the invoice date and due date. And refer to your terms of sale where the client can find more information. Write down your bank details for a wire transfer, but I would also advise you to add a PayPal account to allow other payment methods. By doing so, your clients can also uh, pay with um, MasterCard or American Express. There are multiple options here and a great thing as well to make their uh, payment process or um, service more convenient is that you can also use your PayPal account to invite them to pay this amount that is due. You can send a direct payment request uh, with PayPal, uh, which makes it very convenient for them and also uh, provides a little bit more service to the client. It's a lot easier and quicker um, to complete this payment with PayPal than with uh, a wire transfer. Um, it happens a lot more swift and it's also a platform that they trust. PayPal is free to create an account. However, there are transactions fees, so be aware of this. However, this is also the case with, uh, for instance, international uh, bank transfers. Step five, terms of sale. We conclude our invoice template with an addendum, the terms of sale, which uh, consists of a document that outlines the conditions under which a sale is conducted between two parties, the artist and the collector. It is a crucial component in providing a legal framework that governs the sale of art designed to ensure clarity and agreement on various aspects of the transaction, protecting the rights and obligations of both parties involved. For instance, in the general terms of sale that we advise to use in the CHI invoice templates, we discuss the ownership and copyright of the artwork, the care and preservation, the display and loans of the work, the conditions for resale and transfers, also what happens in case of damage or loss, the payment terms, and also the shipping conditions, including uh, import costs, for instance. So by having these terms of sale, there is real clarity. Uh, both parties know what they're up for, and by doing so, you set up as an artist these terms of sales on which terms you're completing uh, the sale. So you want to protect yourself and your artwork against uh, misuse. So feel free to create your own invoice template. I believe the most efficient way to do this is by going to a complete article of this video, uh, which can be consulted online. And here we also refer to our invoice templates, which is priced very, very modestly um, and which would support uh, future videos um, to help provide these career tools for artists. Also, feel free to have a look at our other career tools. I'll also uh, add a link in the description and in the pinned comments. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to watch our previous video on 17 factors that can make or break your career as an artist next. Support us on Patreon and please consider subscribing to stay posted for more contemporary art. Bye.